The day has finally arrived. If you're Trevor Lawrence, what must you be thinking in the hours before you're pretty certain that your name will be called first by the Jacksonville Jaguars? If you're Urban Meyer, what are you thinking in these closing hours ahead of making that uh, historic pick, perhaps a, a game-changing pick and a, perhaps a franchise turning around pick. Uh, we will have coverage for you throughout the day ahead of tonight's NFL draft. Be listening to 104.5 FM over on ESPN 690. Brent Martineau, Austin Lane, and the Action Sports Jacks crew will get you set up for draft night, 3 to 6 p.m. on ESPN 690. And you can watch coverage of the draft with Brent and everyone else from the Action Sports Jacks team from Cleveland to TIA Bank Field. Uh, coverage starts at 7 tonight on Fox 30. We'll be here tomorrow first thing in the morning on Jacksonville's morning news with the very latest reaction from Jags fans from tr the first round pick and more throughout uh, the day and into the weekend. Pretty warm day today into the upper 80s. It will be even warmer it appears on Friday maybe a little more humid as well. And between around 3 and maybe 7 p.m. or so Mike Burris says we should see some showers maybe even a few thunderstorms roll through the area as a front passes by. That should cool us down pretty nicely for the start of the weekend. We'll update the five day first alert forecast every 15 minutes during Jacksonville's morning news and you can get Mike's latest uh, weather on demand podcast wherever you get your favorite podcasts and in the 104.5 WOKB app. Unpacking more about what the president uh, had to say in his first address to a joint session of the Congress as he urged passage of a police reform bill uh, by May, and he also urged Congress to pass his infrastructure plan and laid out how he plans to pay for this American Families plan. We're hearing Republican reaction. Uh, the GOP address delivered on WOKB radio last night by South Carolina uh, Senator Tim Scott, and we're hearing from your local representatives throughout Jacksonville's morning news. So put an ear on 104. 4.5 FM for continuing coverage. We are expecting Governor DeSantis to sign a, a bill into law uh, fairly quickly that would uh, essentially um, uh, make it uh, illegal for those who were born male to play on female sports teams. This is a controversial transgender bill that's been making its way through the legislative process over the last several weeks in Tallahassee. These are the closing days of the legislative session, and we're updating the flurry of activity that's happening in Tallahassee. Follow along in the 104.5 WOKV app and put an ear on Jacksonville's morning news. We'll see you Friday morning.